Using Boolean algebra simplify the following expression. Let's take a look at this very interesting expression. First, take a look what we can factorize. If you are going to factorize A, you are going to end up with C0 and B inside of the parentheses. The question is uh, if I can reduce C0 or B with anything else. If you are going to look at this expression, for sure you are not going to be able to do so. So let's take a look. Maybe there is trick somewhere over here. Uh, we have we have complements. We have B and B naught and integers next to my complements are A and C naught. A and C naught. These two integers make another term on the side. This is nothing else just a redundancy theorem. Right? Redundancy theorem says if you have complements and variables which are multiplied to these two complements create extra term on the side, this term has to be dropped out. So that's why I'm going to eliminate A C naught. I'm finished with the very first part of the expression. Now, let me copy this down and I'm going to have A, B or B naught, C naught. From these two terms I can factorize X, Y. And I'm going to eliminate W. Or can I do something over here? Not at this moment, so just let me copy this down. I have X naught, Z, or Y, Z naught. I'm going to rewrite this problem one more time. And I'm going to have A, B, or B naught, C naught, or X, Y. Remember that complements or with each other are going to give me always one and I have or x naught z or y z naught. Let me just copy this down and I'm going to have a b plus b naught c naught or x y because x y and one or x y times 1 is equal x, y, or x, not z, or y, z. Now let's take a look what we can, what we can do over here. We have, we have y in these two terms. We're supposed to factorize this y. So I'm going to have A, B, or B naught, C naught, or Y. And inside of the parentheses, I'm going to have X or Z naught. Or X naught, Z. Now, as you can see, these two terms are complements, right? So, we can use over here the complement absorption theorem. Complement absorption theorem says one more time that anytime I have complements and one of them is ended with any other variable, that complement can be dropped out. That's why I'm going to cross this one out. That's why my answer is going to be AB or B not C not or Y or X not Z. This is my solution.